Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is another TTM video. We like to get autographs, TTM, or through the mail by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities cards and photographs and magazines through the mail with a letter of request, along with a self-addressed stamped envelope. And when we get returns, we head straight to YouTube and share the information with everyone else. That way, if you see your favorite athlete or celebrity, you may be able to get their autograph, too. We've got a few of them today. We've got eight, so let's get right to it. The first one's coming from Richmond, Virginia. It is one of one, Ken Willard. Send him one card. He sent it back. Really good player, kind of underrated in football history. He's 77 years old now. Gee, many Christmas time flies. Played for 10 years in the NFL, 65 to 74. Almost all of them with the San Francisco 49ers. Really good player. Like I said, he was underrated career. Now in college, North Carolina, where this card said it's from, he played baseball and football. And he led the ACC in home runs two different times. Football, he was a second overall pick in 1965, ahead of great uh, luminaries like Dick Butkus and Gail Sayers. He was a four-time Pro Bowler himself, 6,100 rushing yards. And when he retired, that was eighth all time. So we don't see enough of this guy in TTM videos. So go get him. Seven days, and he's free for Ken Willard. Underrated all-time great. Next one's coming from, who knows? It's not postmarked. Oh, on the other. <clears throat> hey, Wayne Fonts. Coach of the Lions. He's 80 years old now. On that 89 Pro Set, I sent him a few different cards. There's a 91 Pro Set. Signed all three. Let's feature that 91 Pro Set, shall we? <clears throat> Opened a lot of that back in 1991 or 92, whenever it came out. Man, I opened a lot of that football product. He was head coach of the Lions for nine years. 88 to 96. Finished with an overall record of 67 and 71. And both those, both those wins and the losses are the most in franchise history. 27 days, no fee for Wayne Fonts, who's living down in Florida. <clears throat> Not a bad change after living in Detroit for so long. Uh, next one's coming from where? Indianapolis, Indiana. Don't get too many from Indianapolis, that's for certain. <clears throat> hey, Bill Sampin, he's an old pitcher. Get a baseball return here in the midst of these two footballers. Send him a bunch. Send him that thin black Sharpie. Hopefully that's Sharpie. 4-4. <laughs> four, four. Let's feature the 92 score, why don't we? He didn't play for an overly long time period in the NFL or in major leagues. He's 57 years old. Played for just five years from 90 to 94. Expos, as you see, and then Royals. 25 and 21 overall record. He's now working a um, <clears throat> baseball factory in Indianapolis trying to get kids better baseball. Can't blame me for that. But that came back in seven days, no fee, real quick for Bill Sampson. Bill Sampin. Next one's coming from uh, Metro, Georgia. <clears throat> Georgia Metro. All right, three, Mike Ken. Mike Ken, he was a huge guy. 6'7", 277. Great guy out of Michigan, I believe. Yep. He's in his 12th year on that card, 13th year on this card. He played forever. 64 years old now. Played for 17 seasons. Oh, wow. Don't see that in the NFL very often. 17 years, all of them for the Atlanta Falcons. Great, great player. Five times in the Pro Bowl, five consecutive years from 80 to 84. This guy will be in the Hall of Fame someday. So says me. If you look at his stats, I mean, they're hard to believe. Just look at his lack of penalties, lack of sacks given up. Of course, he has a consecutive game streak that's longest in Falcons history. Two hundred, I think every game he ever was available for, he started and played. 
for 17 consecutive years. He was a Hall of Fame finalist in 2015. And a lot of times they'll go back and clean those up over the years. But uh, 42 days, no fee for Mike Ken, who I say will be in the Hall of Fame someday. Next one's coming from Cincinnati, Ohio. We're breezing right through. Three footballers and one bat baseball. Who is it? Oh, Trumpy on the rookies. I like it. I like it a lot. And that's 75 tops. That goofy look on his face on that one. I like those two rookies. And look at the coloration on these two cards. That's 70 tops. That's his rookie card. He's a Hall of Famer. Became a Hall of Famer as a broadcaster after his great playing career. He played for a long time in the NFL. He was a great uh, tight end. Played 10 seasons, I think, 68 to 74. Was a two-time AFL All-Star and a two-time Pro Bowler. So four times in the postseason All-Star game. 4,600 receiving yards. And then after his playing career, he immediately went into broadcasting for NBC. He did a couple of Super Bowls. And in 2014, he was awarded with what's called the Pete Rozelle Television Radio Award, which is basically, in other words, there's just a way of saying the uh, broadcaster's wing of the Football Hall of Fame. So he's a Hall of Famer. And those are two of his rookie cards. 33 days, no fee for Hall of Famer Bob Trumpy. Next one's coming from Jacksonville, Florida. <clears throat> no hard card. Bill Bates. All right, send him three. 89 pro set, 90 tops. Bill signed all three. Bill Bates, 40. I like it a lot. Getting crowded over here. Bill Bates there. We'll feature this 90 tops. I like that card. I don't know if that's his rookie card or not. Could be. He's 59 years old now. He played safety. Another longtime player. He played for 15 years, 83 to 97, and he played all for the same team, the Dallas Cowboys. Now, he was such a great special teams player early in his career that the, uh, many believe the NFL created um, a spot in the Pro Bowl for special teams players simply because of Bill Bates. That They wanted him. They thought it was a crime for him not to be in the Pro Bowl, even though he was just special teams player at the time. So they formed a spot on the Pro Bowl team, and he made it that first year. Then he was moved to safety. He became a starter at safety for a long time. Then a nickelback. Three Super Bowl rings, 27, 28, and 30, even though he was on injured reserve for 27. 13 days, no fee for Bill Bates. Next one's coming from Santa Ana, California. Quite a few from Santa Ana. Hey, another rookie. All right, John Capaletti on that rookie. I sent him two. I just sent him this one. Yeah, just this one. That's his rookie card. Again, that's his third year in the league, too. 77 tops. <clears throat> third year in the league, but that is his rookie card. And he came out of he came out of college as the uh, Heisman Trophy winner. Can you imagine that happening in today's game? <laughs> Heisman Trophy didn't winner doesn't doesn't get a card until his third year in the league. And he was a good player. Uh, well, he won the uh, Heisman in 73 at Penn State. He's 68 years old now. He played in the NFL for nine seasons. Had just under 3,000 rushing yards, 24 touchdowns. Joe Paterno, legendary coach Joe Paterno, said he's the best football player he's ever coached, John Capaletti. College Football Hall of Fame in 1993. Eight days, no fee. Eight days, no fee on the rookie card for John Capaletti. Next one's coming from Louisville, Kentucky. If anyone tell me down below, how do you pronounce the capital of Kentucky? Is it Louisville or Louisville? How do you pronounce the capital of Kentucky? Let me know down below. All right. This is 75-year-old uh, Louis Dampier. I always uh, personalize it for Michael, Louis Dampier. Longtime ABA star. Look at those stats. Big time stats in the ABA. He played all nine seasons. The ABA was in existence with the Kentucky Colonels, as you see here, an ABA All-Star card. And after the NBA and the ABA merger, he played three years in, for the Spurs in the NBA. Seven times ABA All-Star. 
He's on the ABA all-time team, ABA champion in 1975, and the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 19 or 2015. Quick returns, eight days, Hall of Famer Louis Dampier. That's it. Pretty quick. Do a quick review. All free today. Ken Willard, seven days, no fee. Wayne Fonts, 27 days, no fee. Bill Sampin, seven days, no fee. Mike Ken, 42 days. Bob Trumpy, 33 days. Bill Bates, 13. John Capaletti, eight. And Louis Dampier, eight. Hey, thanks for watching. Tell let me know what you, what you thought of these down below. Give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'm going to put a one-click subscription right here. Make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of all my future videos. I'm going to put the previous uh, TTM video right here. One click there. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.